Tabber and welcome back to Tabber's Toys. Today I'm going to show you the, my cool new Lego set, the Hall of Armor. Over here, you can see there's a control panel, and over here, there's some little keyboards. This one says intruder alert. And over here, it looks like he's calling somebody. And then, and then you can pull this off. And you can see there's to Tony's getting his armor put on. So you can take his hair off and put his helmet off, but we'll get to the minifigures later. You go, okay, let's put Tony back on here. And you can spin it around and these arms can move. Oh, put him down. And you can pull this off. And over here, you can see there's all the places you can put the armor. So if you turn this around, you can see there's some clear back stickers. Like over here, it says Mark XXV, Mark V, and House Party Protocols. Stand by and then you can turn it back around. You can see over here, this is a place to put Tony's hair and you're not using it. And over here, you got a wrench, and over here, you got a jetpack. And then over here, you have some weapons this blade and a blaster and a mixer and a cup. And if you look at the top, you can see there's a satellite and it can move in that direction. You can also take it off. And we'll take these off. And that, there's also a ladder right here. And you can put a bunch of seats up here. Take him off. And this is Dummy. Comes with a fire extinguisher for the flame. And you can see there's this guy. I don't know what his name is, so leave it in the comments below if you know. You can open him up like this and put, let's put Iron Man in there. And then close it up. And then close these up. They don't close all the way. And then put this down. That's what it looked like with Tony Stark in there and you can move his fist in any way like, uh, let's see. Put one finger, you could do two fingers. And then you can make them like that. And then you can also put him here. But just there. So here you got Mark 1. And he, and if you can take his helmet off, and it's just clear because it would be on the armor stand. So, take him away. Got Mark 5. And you can flip. Mark 1, you can't flip his helmet up, but on this one, you can flip it up. And there's another clear head because this one would be on display as well. Oh, yeah, and here's the back. I'll show you the back for him as well. You can see it says Stark Industries right there. And then the engine. Take them away. We got Mark 41. You can put this helmet up and it's another clear head. So, I'm going to 
see there, and there's just the back printing. And over here, you got Mark 50, which actually has Tony Stark under there. Oh. You can flip this home around, and then he also has a second face, which is a computer screen voice. I mean, computer screen. Well, you'd see doing through the mask. Oh. And you can also put his hair on. Put his hair on. Okay, and then just hair on the him. Here is the Outrider, and it comes with two of them, and I'll take off his pack, backpack thing, his arms. That's his back printing. Just, and that's the back of his head. And that's his backpack, and it comes with two of these guys. So, you can have two guys attacking. <coughs> I'm gonna tell you what I don't like and what I like about this set. Mostly what I like, because everything I like. I really like that there's glass stickers on here so you know what marks to put right there. I kinda wish they would put mark stickers on all of the windows, but that's okay. And then you can, I like that you can put Tony on here and pretend you're switching his armor. So you could take his head off and put, put this armor on, you know? And then, I also like that they made the arms movable on it. And I also like that they included dummy with the fire extinguisher. And this head, I feel like should have been a circular head because I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a circular head, but they made it square. So that's kind of what I don't like. But yeah, I mostly like the whole thing. You will too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.